I wanted to explore the fuzz face guitar circuit, so PCB Way sponsored a project where I could create a PCB based on the old two transistor fuzz circuit from the 60s and see how it works. I'll link to some resources in the description, including a website that does a circuit analysis. But the fuzz guitar effect circuit is based on a couple of transistors and some resistors and capacitors. There's different versions of it, but my circuit is going to be based on one of these simple originals. It's a type of distortion effect that applies a hard clipping to the guitar signal, as shown here on this Sweetwater.com website. Hard clipping just means that your original signal has a lot of the ends cut off and it starts turning it more into a square wave. Here's the circuit I'm going to be working with. It has a few more components than the more basic version, but it's essentially a two transistor amplifier with a lot of gain to get into that hard clipping mode, and it has negative feedback right here with these components down here feeding some of the output signal back to the input. So in this feedback circuit right here, this potentiometer here controls the amount of fuzz or distortion, and what it's doing is bringing this capacitor into the feedback loop or shunting it just to ground so it's out of circuit. Since audio can pass through capacitors, the more this capacitor is brought toward this feedback path here, the more audio gets shunted to ground away from being fed back, and the more gain you get in the circuit, or the more fuzz. When the control is set to basically get this capacitor out of circuit, more of the audio passes through the feedback path, taming the gain and giving a less distorted effect. I put this optional capacitor right here across this feedback resistor. I don't use it right now, but it just gives another way to balance out how much audio can pass through here. Otherwise, the circuit is very simple. I'm just using a couple of 2N3904 transistors because they're very common and I have lots of them around. But I'm going to use machine pin sockets on the board so that I can swap out different transistors and see the difference in effect. These resistors from collector to the positive 9 volt rail on both sides help set the bias for each transistor, which impacts the overall performance and how much clipping there is. So I put a couple of pots here that I can just play around with and see the difference, so I can get the minimum and maximum amount of distortion I want, and if I change transistors, I may need to change these values to get the same effect. There's an output level control potentiometer here, and we have a capacitor in series with the output and the input. So this is a relatively large capacitor as far as audio frequencies, so we get a lot of low frequencies allowed through this circuit, which helps boost into this fuzz effect. Then if we want to do some more tone shaping on the output, we can control how much bass gets through with this capacitor. Looking at the output of this circuit with a test sine wave input, by changing the bias potentiometers, we can essentially set the minimum and maximum amount of clipping we get from this whole circuit. We can set it so strong that all we ever have is what looks like square wave distortion output, or we can adjust it so that as we change the fuzz potentiometer, we can go from more soft clipping with a rounded sine wave all the way up to starting to distort into a square wave. So I'm just setting the transistor bias pot to allow me to go from soft clipping into the beginnings of hard clipping, and I'm going to go try this out on a guitar. I'm using a little Roland Cube 30 amplifier on the clean mode, so here's what the amplifier first sounds like clean, and then going straight into plugging it into the fuzz circuit and plugging that into the clean Roland amplifier. Seriously?
So that's a simple little circuit, and this PCB will allow me to experiment with it very easily.